Hi everybody, it's um, Miss Jazz RNY Ontario and today is Monday, March 20th and I want to talk to you about a couple of different things so I think I might do two different videos. Um, the first thing I wanted to do is say congratulations though to my friend Princess. She had her surgery today for Rue NY and I didn't even know she was going to have it. <laughs> um, she was one of my friends for years and then I found out two weeks ago because she boasted something and I was like, you sound like you're on OptiFast. And she's like, yeah, I am. And I was like, are you having surgery? And she's like, yeah, are you? And I was like, yeah, I'm getting there. So anyway, so I just want to congratulate her. Um, I hope it went well. I haven't really heard anything yet. Um, so anyway, hoping it went well. So um, anyway, so besides that, I want to talk about the results of my sleep study. And um, they weren't great. But I don't really trust my sleep study place. I don't really like it, actually. Um, anyway, the results had said that I stopped breathing 15 times in an hour, and I snored, a few other things. Um, and I, I, I honestly, I'm not sure. They say I need a CPAP. I'm really not sure. I don't want the CPAP. <laughs> um, I want, there's a mouth guard thing that I've heard about, and I'm, Kind of interested in that. I'm actually supposed to go for the CPAP test tomorrow night, but I'm canceling and I'm going to stay out of town. Um, because in Ontario, you're, you can have a second opinion um, by law. So I actually want to change my appointment, cancel it, say I'm out of town and book it for next week. And then I have a doctor's appointment and a specialist with my internal medicine specialist appointment on Thursday afternoon so I want to talk to them about it and see what they have to say um, I just I don't know <laughs> I had a, the worst sleep ever I kept getting woken up um, and I remember a few times I because <gasps> I heard a noise and I know I stopped breathing but you know I was like sleeping and I'd go <gasps> so does did they count that as me stopping breathing I don't know I don't know I just don't I just don't really trust it. I mean, I'm not saying if you go there um, that you shouldn't trust them. <laughs> Do not say that at all. <laughs> um, the mouth guard thing was another issue because they didn't even talk to me about the mouth guard. And really, I have um, at 14 and uh, they told me 14 and over. Uh, they told me I had my moderate sleep apnea. And everything I read said 15 and over is moderate sleep apnea and anything under 15 is mild. And they said for mild to moderate, mostly in the mild category, you can wear this mouth guard that keeps you all like a little bit like this or something. And they, these people didn't even talk to me about that. Like, I don't know. Like, I hate to say bad about them, but I honestly wonder if it's because um, they know I'm on, they don't have coverage because I'm on disability. Like, that's kind of the impression I get. Um, I was really actually surprised that they came up with the sleep apnea. Because I had the test done 10 years ago and I didn't have sleep apnea. And yes, I was a little bit less weight at that point. But nothing considerably, I don't think. Not, uh, all of my friends, when my friend was in the room when they told me the results. And she's like, what? You don't have it. Like, why? Why in the world? Did this result show that you have sleep apnea? She goes, I don't think you have it. She goes, my brother has it. I know what it sounds like. I asked my cousins about it. And they're like, what? I'm not sure you have it either. They're like, yeah, you snore. But, you know, it depends on even how you sleep is to how you snore. And um, Anyway, and then there's something about, like, my oxygen level went down. They were talking about. But the oxygen sensor was on my toe. And, um, it just, like, I honestly thought, because the oxygen center was on my toe, I, I felt like it wasn't keeping good track of it. So, um, next time I go, I don't want to, wherever I go, I kind of want to have it done again. Like I said, and I want to have the oxygen sensor on my finger. Um, so, because, I mean, the cord, I'm so tall that the cord barely reached to my toe. Um, so I couldn't even move my feet around most of the night. Anyway, it was the worst sleep, worst everything. So, 
yeah so anyway that's my update about um, that part um, I'm gonna do another video so I'm gonna say bye for now subscribe to my channel if you're interested but I will do another video where I'm gonna talk about some of the things yeah okay <laughs> bye